Welcome to this tutorial on how to use an application called Outlook to access your emails from the college and to sign into your email that is provided to you by the college. I'll be using an Android device, so the App Store for me is called Play Store. If you're using an Apple device, your application store will be called the App Store. While following this tutorial, if you feel like I'm going too fast, feel free to pause the video and once you're at the same step as me, to, you, to continue the video. So I'm going to start by clicking on the Play Store. Searching at the top right, or top left, Outlook. Clicking the Search button. Should be the first application that shows up. So it's from Microsoft Outlook. Click on that. Click Install. Once the application has installed, you have to click on the open button, which is located here. And it should open the application. If anything happens by you clicking the home button or you losing the page, if you go to the home page, it should automatically pop up on your home screen, this application called Outlook. Alternatively, you could go to your app store um, um, app library, sorry, and it should be the last application that you have installed. So for me, it is located here. So I'm just going to click on that. Once I've gone into the application, I click on this button here. I click on the, I type in the email address provided to me by the college at the beginning of my course. Once you have typed in the email address, click continue and it should redirect you to the Nelson College login page. So here, click next. Sometimes it might come up with confirm or your current password, so you can type in your password again. If it is your first time logging in, it will just ask you to type in your password like this page. So all you need to do is type in your password and then click on sign in, which is located here. So I'm just going to do that. Once I've typed in the password, I'm going to click on sign in. Yes. If you get to this authentication setup page, um, you can set, it, set this up at a later date. So for this tutorial, I'm going to click on cancel. But if you do get time or if you do sign in again, please do set it up because it will help you access your account when the college may be closed or at a really late uh, time in the day. So it might be like 12 o'clock at night when you're trying to submit an, an assignment and you need to email someone and you've forgotten your password. This will, this will definitely help you regain access to your account. So I'm just going to click on cancel for this tutorial. You do have the option to include other emails, so maybe your personal email or any other emails that you may um, use outside the college. This one application, you can access all of your emails and manage all of them. But for this tutorial, I'll be using this application just for the college email. So I'm going to click on maybe later, which is located here. There is a few tips and tricks that will, um, that will be shown to you before you actually enter the app. So you can swipe through these and then click on the tick button right at the bottom here. And there you go. All of your emails will be in this page here. Um, if you do land on a different page, you can always click on the white icon on the top left hand corner and then click on inbox. If you click on inbox, it'll take you to your inbox. Sometimes if you've been told that you, someone sent an email to you, but you can't see it in your inbox, it might go into your junk. So this is your junk folder. So how do you, so how do you access that? By clicking on the icon again, and it should be here. And that's how you enter your junk box. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful time.